hi guys we have already built this website and uploaded on our server and domain name so next we will add the google analytics and google search console on this website so that we can track the visitors on this website for that we will come to the google and search for google analytics you can see this website here analytics.google.com just open this one and here you have to log in using your gmail id then click on this button start measuring here you have to enter one name so i will write my website name here which is skillseco after that leave all these checkbox like this just click on the next button here again you have to add the name one property name you have to enter so again i will write the website name so i am writing skillseco and next you have to select the time zone so in this time zone select the country so i will select my country here india then select the currency i will select inr after that click on the next button here it will ask you to select the website industry so i will select education because my website is related to the education select the business size and select what you want to measure on your website i will select this one measure customer engagement optimize my site measure data across multiple devices okay i will select this three option that's it then i will click on the create button select the country here select this checkbox and click on i accept here you have to select the platform where you want to use google analytics like website android app and ios app so i will select web to add google analytics on our website here you have to enter the website url so in this one you can see you can use http and https after that copy the website domain name write it here and in the right field you have to add one name so again i will write the same name which is skillseco and after that click on this button create a stream now you will get this page and let me close this pop up and here you can see global site tag just click here and expand now just copy this google site tag and you have to add this tag in the head tag you can see it is written here you have to add this tag in the html file in the head tag so just copy this tag click here to copy and next we have to add this script in the html file in the head tag now i will come to my hosting file manager where i have uploaded my file so you can see we have these files here so let me select this one i will select the index page which is home page then click on this edit icon you can see this code here so in this code let me add some space before this closing head tag i will add some space and paste this google site script like this after adding this click on the save then click on close so this is the first way to update the a script in all the files you have to go one by one and update this script in all the files or you can also update the file on your local computer like here i have this file on the local computer in the text editor this is the html file so i will write this script here in this head tag like this similarly i will add this script in the other pages also so let me open the other page i will open course.html in this one also i will add some space before this closing head tag add this script next we will open the other page which is about here also i will add the google analytics script let me open the other page contact add this script here and now we have one more page which is blog.html So in this page also I will add this Google Analytics script. Save all these pages. 
now we have to upload these pages on our server in the file manager so it will replace the old file existing on this file manager so just click here on this upload icon and select all these files then click on upload so it will replace the old file so this was the second option to update the file on the file manager so let's come back to the google analytics close this one and here you can see we have added this website now just click on this home button i will click on this home icon and here you can see it is saying zero right now there is no user on this website so let's come to the website and i will refresh this website after that i will come to the google analytics again and you can see one user on this website and below that you can see country it is india in the left side you can see other options also acquisition engagement and so many things let me click on the real time at a time how many visitors are present on your website so right now it is one so i will open this website in the second pc so you will see another visitor now you can see here it is saying two it means right now we have two users on our website and here you can see it is saying two right now two persons are there and from bangalore location let me open this website in my mobile phone also and after that you can see we have three users on this website so currently three users are active on our website and you can see 66 percent user is from the desktop and 33 percent from the mobile it means two user from the desktop and one user from the mobile device and let's hover on this location you can see bangalore 3 it means three user from the bangalore so it will display the current user and in the left side you can see other options also where you can go and check the other report of your website but right now you will find everything will be blank because we don't have any data here but i will show you some other account where i already have some history data but before that i will create the google search console so come to the google and search for google search console you can see this url search.google.com slash search console open this one here you have to enter the domain name so in the first one you have to enter the domain name and you have to verify it so let me use the second option in this one you have to enter the website url write the website url here then click on continue so it will easily verify your website because we have already added the google analytics on our website you can see ownership auto verified and the verification method is google analytics so we have already added the google analytics that's why we don't have to add any extra script to verify our website let's click here and now we are in the google search console here also you can see everything is blank we don't have enough data here let's click on the performance it is also blank so next i will show you my other account where i have already added the google analytics and google search console from a long time so let me close this one and i will open my another account and here i have the google analytics for my other website which is easytutorialspro.com on this website you can see right now there is two user you can see there is something difference in the layout design because it is the older version here we have a less option and ui design is little bit different so don't get so much confused because of the version here you can see the history data like how many users were there in the last seven days and current user let me click on the real time click on overview right now it is saying two users and one is from the desktop and another one from mobile you can see it is 50 and 50 percent and you can see it is the user's location and it is the source youtube so these two users 
came from the YouTube link and they are on the home page let's click here on this audience and click on the overview in this one you can see the other details here is the date where you can select the date you want to view the report so I'll click here and you can select the date scroll down and here you can see users new users and session page views and languages country city and browser operating system these things you can check let's come to the left side and uh, I will show the other important data here I will click on acquisitions all traffic and channels it will display the different traffic source here in this social you can see 598 users direct 69 organic search because people came from the Google search and the referral it means people are coming from the other websites link and now let's click on this behavior click on site content and all pages so it will display on which page users are coming so you can see on this home page we have 813 user on the hosting page 99 user about page 68 user and like this let's click on the real time again and right now we have two user and both are from the mobile device let's see the location it is from this location and somewhere in India also one user from India like this now we will see the other account for the Google search console so let me open my Google search console account here for the easytutorialspro.com here I will click on the performance and in this performance you can see you can set the date right now it is selected three months you can change like this and it will display how many clicks you got and how many impression click through rate and average position let's just scroll down and you can see the queries what people are searching on the Google search and how many clicks you are getting on this keyword let's click on the pages so it will display which page is coming on the Google search page let's click on the countries and it will display the country from where the users are coming so on this search console you will only get the data related to the Google search and in the Google Analytics you will get the data about all the users whether they are coming from the social media referral link they are direct opening your website by typing your domain name anything and you will track the on page time and bounce rate and so many things so this was very easy process to add the Google Analytics and Google search console on your website I hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question about this you can ask me in the comment section and please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel AG tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video